what uh, do you think um, uh, kind of like a common theory is that like vaccines mm -hmm. and the frequency and number of vaccines that children have uh, progressively over time been made to take more of mm -hmm. do you have any opinions on how that if at all might be affecting the frequency increase of uh, spectrum mm -hmm. cases there's a number of different controversies conspiracies speculations I can determine I don't know in that sense and one aspect of these areas I don't um, invest too much time through also is the epidemiology, the history of the evolution of how it emanated. My infatuation is more within the context of the metaphysical and the phenomenological aspect of mental disorder because there's a specific type of atypicals or non-neurotypicals who have a sort of tapestry. There's a sort of interconnectivity they have with some, what we perceive as reality. Mm -hmm. So my infatuation is in that area itself. When you get into areas like um, existentialism and epistemology, one idea is uh, solipsism, where a person goes into mania and they take, so, they take on all these different sorts of philosophy, philosoph philosophical approach. Um, one idea of um, psychoanalysis and uh, psychodynamics which originated with Sigmund Freud, which is the one aspect is the whole idea of the relationship between the subconscious and the conscious. So I find these areas intriguing in terms of when a person's, when a person's external stimuli is augmented, modified, or, or augmented, their philosophy change, their ideology of reality change. So, those are the areas I find intriguing, and not so much what. what because there's a, there's, a, there's a sort of dichotomy in terms of what causes certain mental disorder. One is a biological predisposition, and others is environmental factors. I'm not certain, right? It's all relative. It could be a result of post-traumatic stress, uh, stress disorder. It could be substance abuse. It could be um, insomnia. I mean, one aspect of insomnia is when the circadian rhythm is disrupted, right? And, and right. the relationship between that, the pineal gland, and the release of melatonin, all these things can induce um, bipolar. 